Harry Sharp, uh, I'm 15 years old and uh, I fight out of Synergy Gym in Kendall. Started Muay Thai when I was about 12 years old. Well, I was always a, a, a quiet child, I didn't have uh, much confidence in myself. I struggled a lot with anger uh, as soon as I started, about from 10 years old. My older brother, he, um, he was doing it and then my dad said, why don't you give it a try? And then my, I just enjoyed my first session and then I stuck with it. It clears my head a lot. If I've had like a troublesome day or not the most relaxing day, I just, in the evening, I'd go to the gym, hit the bike, hit pads, and then it, I come out of it feeling much better. And um, that's one of the reasons that keeps me, keeps me going. There's not one single event that has shaped me as a person, but as my training's gone on, my, my confidence is growing and growing for each session and each week. Uh, well, I was, quite on, I was quite on and off from about 13 to 14. Um, I had no motivation from anything. I wasn't coming to the gym often. And then it was around, it was around last summer that um, a lot of people from my gym were starting to fight and were starting to win fights that um, it made me want to fight. And um, I've just stuck with it. My confidence was at its highest and um, I started to have good performances in training. My coaches were recognising it. And then um, they told me a few weeks ago that um, we're going to put you in for your first fight. And then um, that made my performance in training really rise and want to impress. No, no real big changes. It's just balancing um, the gym with my, with my schoolwork, which is probably the biggest challenge. Um, obviously, in the, because my fight camp started, obviously you've got to be in the gym a lot. And um, I've got to mix that in with my schoolwork and mock, mock exams and exams. So um, that's probably the biggest challenge that I've got to face. Well, for me, it's quite easy. It's just on my rest day. I'd probably just do a lot of revision, homework, and get caught up on all my schoolwork and other commitments, um, whilst mixing that in with running and the gym all the time and stuff. Well, I, I get praised a lot from my training partners and my coaches for just uh, a lot of resilience in if you get taken down or if you get put down to um, just keep fighting back and um, if you keep fighting back you'll get, you'll get a reward in the end, you'll put in a good performance at, at an interclub or in training or something and then um, yeah I just have, a, have great confidence now and if you get taken down then um, you just get straight back up and get on with it. Well the gym we've got we're quite small and but we've got a really close relationship with each other so we're all supporting each other and um, all helping each other like train and um, just motivating each other. Resilience to me is um, fighting through all the um, all the dark times that come your way and um, I like the saying um, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel so you've got to get through all the dark times just to reach an achievement or reach a very good point in your life where you feel very confident about yourself. To prepare for my fight, I'm just knuckling down on my diet, pushing through um, hard training, um, doing what your coach say all the time, and um, again, you you feel you'll feel great after a training session, feel good at, good after your fight count, and then I feel like I'll be ready to go and just smash it. How how are you feeling towards the fight? Not really nervous or anything. I'm not I'm not one of the, I'm not cocky or anything. I'm, but I'm not nervous either. I just want to go in the ring and. Um, you know, get the fight done, put on my best performance, and um, again, no matter the result, hopefully I've made a lot of people proud getting for a fight camp and actually getting in the ring, which not many people have the balls to do. Again, on the topic of motivation from all my training partners and my coaches, um, obviously I'm in quite a small gym, so um, you get a lot more attention from your coaches and other fighters, so they can like give you motivation, they can um, they can help you much more with your fight camp and then um, once you get to your fight you've got all these people behind you and then that's really good motivation whilst you're in the ring to get rid of any nerves that are there. I'm quite confident right now but I am, I am expecting for it to get really hard and um, for me to struggle a bit on certain days and to feel um, the need to get out of bed, eat a healthy breakfast, eat a healthy lunch and tea. That um, and then go to the gym in the evening, it's really tiring. So um, I'm obviously expecting that and um, I'm quite confident that 
I'm expecting that and I'm ready for it and I'm just going to push for it. How do you know all the hard work is going to be worth it? You just feel great after yourself. Seeing all the fighters from our gym, they um, they all come out in great moods. They all feel really confident about themselves, and they all and they all just smash it in their fight. So I feel like I'll I feel like I'll just be one, I'll just be part of that group now that I've managed to get in the ring and um, managed to get rid of the nerves to get in the ring. I'm quite determined about that in the next two or three years, just to push through, win a title, get because obviously I'm a junior fighter now. When I get into the um, N class, C class and all that stuff. Um, that's going to get really tough because um, there's a lot more things to focus on. Especially when I go into adulthood, uh, you've got loads of jobs and stuff to deal with, you've got to earn money. So um, it's just balancing that with Muay Thai, but um, I'm quite confident that I can um, have good fights when I'm older and um, win a few. And obviously I'm expecting to lose a few as well and um, again push through hard times just to get a win or maybe even win a title.